Good morning, Rosa Parks. Today is Thursday, February 11th, 2021. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today, led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Kessler's class. Great job, Mrs. Kessler's class. Boys and girls, please remain standing for our moment of silence. As we've talked about, the month of February is a month where we show love and compassion to our friends and our family. And so today I want us to take a few seconds, bow our heads and think quietly to ourselves, who are three people that I care about? It may be here at school, it may be at home, but let's bow our heads, think quietly to ourselves, who are three people that I care about? Let's bow. Great job, boys and girls, you may be seated. We have no students or staff members celebrating a birthday today. Oh, I missed lunch and I apologize for that. My lunch screen didn't come up. Today for lunch is cheese omelet with cinnamon roll, peanut butter and jelly encrustable with string cheese, seasoned potatoes, fruit, and milk. Um, it probably is still a little too cold for recess, uh, but I do want to remind everyone to make sure that you're wearing your hat, your coat, your gloves, your mittens, so that when you're at the bus stop and when you're coming back and forth on the bus that you do get to stay nice and warm and safe. All right, make sure I've got my mask on, make sure that it covers our nose, make sure it covers our mouth so that we can keep our germs in and we can keep everyone safe. All right, today um, is probably the last day before tomorrow to bring your Valentine's cards. Please bring them in as soon as possible. All right, as we move through Black History Month, I'd like to introduce you to this lady. Her name is Dr. Rebecca Crumpler, and she was the first African-American woman to graduate from medical school and become a physician, a doctor. And so she was a doctor who mostly took care of women and babies, uh, but she also became the first um, doctor to pub uh, first African American doctor to publish an, a study on how to care for babies, and so her work um, was very instrumental in helping have um, babies live longer, babies live safer. As you can see, she did live a long time ago, as that picture's in black and white. Uh, but Dr. Crumpler was an extremely intelligent woman who achieved great things when a lot of African Americans were not allowed to go to college, become doctors and physicians, and she was able to do that. So we should all strive to be a little bit like Dr. Crumpler and work hard to achieve our goals because when she achieved her goals, she helped make the lives of other men and women, boys and girls, babies, she helped make their lives better. So thank you, Dr. Crumpler. All right, friends, it is going to be a thrilling Thursday. I want you to work hard today to listen to your teachers, keep your ears open and your mouths quiet so that we can learn and have a great Thursday. As always, don't forget to treat people right. Treat people right. And do